the Kim Dynasty, a land of public executions, extreme poverty, and rampant famine. North Korea has been ruled by the same authoritarian regime since its founding in 1948. The Kim Dynasty, which was installed after Kim Il-sung came to power at the conclusion of World War II and Japan's retreat from Korea, has held an iron grip over the country for three generations now. Forced disappearances, kidnappings, and work camps break the populace and foster a fierce loyalty and, on some level, desperate love for the state. Needless to say, North Korea isn't exactly a hot housing market. In fact, between the years of 1960 and 2022, less than 50,000 people immigrated to North Korea. For comparison, over eight times this amount immigrated to Afghanistan during the same time frame, which is one of the poorest countries in the world. North Korean Culture Indeed, there are a lot of things keeping people from moving to North Korea, but fashion, art, and a really cool zoo aren't one of them. Not only does North Korea pressure their citizens to choose from a whopping 15 unique haircuts, they make sure to provide an equal amount to both males and females. Men get 15 haircuts to choose from. Women get 15 haircuts to choose from. Whatever flavor of the undercut is picked, men in North Korea will be thankful that their leader picked haircuts out of a mid-80s GQ magazine. But don't let hair fool you. North Koreans enjoy their lives on many levels. One of the most rewarding things to do in the country's capital of Pyongyang is visit the zoo. On display is a wide variety of animals, including lions, elephants, monkeys, and a vibrant aquarium. Visitors from the United States will be pleasantly amused to even find a dog exhibition featuring German Shepherds, St. Bernards, and Shih Tzus. Common household pets in the States, but exotic animals in North Korea, thanks to a strict pet policy. The zoo's most famous attraction and a local favorite is a must-see for returning visitors and tourists alike. Azalea, the smoking chimpanzee, is a wonderful reminder of North Korea's dedication to laughing at life's quirks. This video is sponsored by Empires and Puzzles, one of the first games that combines the history of empire building in an RPG game that also includes the fun of match three puzzles. Build up your strength by matching three symbols of the same color to destroy the enemy and build your attack strength the more you win. Empires and Puzzles takes you through historical, mythic locations, from the depths of Atlantis to the halls of Valhalla. There are over 400 heroes to collect, with new options introduced every month. Train your heroes like you would an army, and pick their talents carefully for the ultimate empire-building team. And then, once you've won your latest battle, get to just that, building. Level up your food and production, train your troops, and even summon more heroes to help you develop your empire. Empires and Puzzles is constantly evolving, just like your empire should be. See if you have what it takes to reach the top of the PvP leaderboard. Thank you to Empires and Puzzles for sponsoring this video. You can start developing your empire on the App Store and Google Play today, or download Empires and Puzzles now with my link below. Smoking chimpanzees, state-approved haircuts, and a long history of violence spell out the more disturbing things that North Koreans have been subject to under the Kim Dynasty. The dazzling trio of North Korea's three brightest rays of light, Kim Il-sung, Kim Jong-il, and Kim Jong-un, have always kept it interesting, to say the least. Here are the craziest, most unhinged moments from each of the supreme leaders. Kim Il-sung Kim Il-sung had a reputation for being a ruthless leader who was willing to do whatever it took to protect his country's interests. During his rule, he ordered hundreds of executions, and some of his craziest moments involved these executions. One of his most notorious executions was that of General Pak Hong-yong. General Pak was a former North Korean defense minister and a rival of Kim Il-sung. In December 1955, General Pak was arrested, tried, and convicted of plotting a coup against Kim Il-sung. He was executed with a single shot to the head, and his body was publicly displayed for three days in a Pyongyang Square as a warning to any would-be traitors. However, when he was not ruthlessly executing political rivals, Kim Il-sung indulged in the usual mindless displays of power. He developed a cult of personality that has been a long-standing tradition in North Korea, with his image being seen everywhere in the country from statues and monuments to posters and books. He is seen as a leader and a father figure to many North Koreans, and his teachings and philosophies are still taught in North Korean schools today. His ideology of Juche, or self-reliance, has also become part of North Korean culture, and his legacy is still celebrated and revered by many North Koreans. Kim Jong-il After his father's death in 1994, Kim Jong-il came to power in North Korea and ushered in a new era of bizarre antics. One of Kim's most outrageous moments was when he attempted to solve North Korea's hunger problem by importing giant rabbits from Germany. 
He believed that the meat yielded by these rabbits would end his people's starvation. However, Karl Schmelinski, the world expert breeder of giant rabbits, explained to Kim that these rabbits only yielded about 15 pounds of meat and had huge appetites requiring lots of vegetables to stay alive, which made them unsuitable for combating famine. Despite this, Kim decided to purchase 12 rabbits for about $115 each. Ultimately, Smolensky believes that Kim ate the rabbits to celebrate his birthday. Another of Kim's outrageous moments was when he decided to rid the capital city of short people. He had pamphlets distributed in Pyongyang describing a wonder drug that would help short people grow taller. As people began lining up in response to the pamphlet, they quickly got the feeling that something was off. Unsurprisingly, there was no wonder drug. It was Kim's way of gathering the shortest members of society in one place so he could round them up and have them sent away. Kim also had some strange habits. He had a staff of women inspect his rice before it entered his palace's kitchen, making sure each piece met his standard for uniformity and plumpness. Additionally, he made sure that he never took addictive substances alone. He had a staff of people take the same drugs as him. For example, if he was prescribed a painkiller, he would make his staff take the painkiller medication with him. Kim Jong-un As the torch once again passed from father to son, so Kim Jong-il died and Kim Jong-un assumed his position as supreme leader of North Korea. Kim Jong-un's regime has had its fill of ridiculous and terrifying displays of force. But one disheartening example was when he ordered the confiscation of all pet dogs in Pyongyang in 2020. Blaming Western decadence, Kim ordered the removal of all pet dogs and even used force to separate some dogs from their owners. The mass confiscation of pet dogs was especially concerning, given North Korea's ongoing food shortage, which led many to believe that their pets were heading towards becoming someone's next meal. Another bizarre moment was when Kim Jong-un allegedly had a former army vice minister killed with a mortar round in 2012 for drinking and partying after his father's death. Moreover, in recent history, Kim has carried out many purges within his cabinet that aim to eliminate anyone deemed a threat. These executions of senior officials are often public and horrifying in their violence. In one instance, Wang Min, a former agricultural minister, and Hyun Yong Chol, a defense minister, were paraded out in front of an anti-aircraft gun and shot with an anti-aircraft round. Kim's odd behavior has been further demonstrated through his friendships with controversial figures, such as basketball star Dennis Rodman. Rodman's been on several highly publicized trips to North Korea, including one time when he took 10 retired basketball players to play a game in North Korea for the Supreme Leader's birthday. During these visits, Rodman has publicly described Kim as a big kid who just wants to have fun. Kim also has an odd taste in music, having created his own pop band named Maronbong Band. The group debuted in 2012 and made waves in the music scene with catchy tunes like Do Prosper, Error of the Workers' Party. To no one's surprise, these gals were less of a hit among the rest of the world. Perhaps there is some hope for the future, though, as Kim Jong-un has shown interest in working with both South Korea and the United States. In 2018, tensions between North and South Korea decreased as President Trump became the first U.S. president to enter North Korean territory, and Kim crossed over to South Korea during a series of summits. In the Winter Olympics, North and South Korea marched together in the opening ceremonies, and players from both countries played on a unified Korean ice hockey team. Although the threat of nuclear war still looms in the background and North Korea has much work to do in fixing its human rights violations, perhaps cooperation with countries such as the United States will allow North Korea to enter an era of universal prosperity, or at least one where everyone gets to choose their own haircut.